I've got comedians Mike Freed and Wes Johnson here to tell us about Stand Up for Innocence, comedy to support the Florida Innocence Project. So welcome back and nice to meet you, Wes. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so first, before we get into the, the event itself, um, talk about the Florida Innocence Project. What exactly is that? Yeah, little little known project, but it's uh, it's just that. It's a, a group uh, of a nonprofit uh, out of Tallahassee, but works statewide, helping uh, wrongfully accused people oh, um, get uh, exonerated yeah. and uh, obviously <clears throat> our system of justice works really well most <laughs> of the time but every once in a while there, yeah. there are errors and they go in with scientific evidence and there's some really high-profile cases including some locally where people have spent 45 as much as 45 years in jail no. only to be exonerated and the, and the good thing is they, they help did to get I it, identify the right person right but that's I mean that is a huge chunk of your life that you won't yeah. get back so, so that's amazing that they can help out yes yeah, so a very little funding we're gonna bring some awareness we're okay. gonna have some fun and we're gonna raise some money yeah so let's talk about that so how are you guys going to raise the money with this event? Yeah, so uh, simple as that. We're, we've got some great comedians, including Wes Johnson, mm -hmm. one of the funniest guys you ever want to meet, and Michael Palasak, who's a late-night uh, TV comedian. You've seen him on The Tonight Show and Stephen oh, Colbert cool. and all those. Yeah. Um, and we've sold sponsorships, and there's tickets available now. It's going to be at the Comedy Zone okay. on May 16th. Doors open at 6.30, show at 7.30. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about your story, Wes, and your, your style of comedy. All right, so I was, uh, in 2011, I was in an off-road accident. Uh, it was a regular road. I just went off it. Uh, oh. <laughs> that works so much better with laughs. I know. Right? I'm like uh, I'm trying to be sensitive, right? Like, and, but and I like that you can create humor out of and it. And that's right? how the comedy really, really started. Is that people hear that and instantly you're, you, you weren't. You, it wasn't a joke to you. Right. It, it's sad. But and, you have to kind of make it. And so instead of being sad all the time, we yes, started a joke that. about it and. Uh, I started a joke about it, and then I realized that other people were in similar situations, and by me laughing at it, they could laugh at their situation, and we really just went from there. Yeah, because, I mean, a lot of times, too, if you, like how they say, not necessarily in your situation, but any situation where you're dealing with something hard. I do the same with baldness. You right? know, well, it's like you're either going to laugh or you're going to cry, right? So let's yeah. laugh about it. Let's live a little. Um, so, I mean, how do you, how do, you do it? How do, how do you stay so positive? He's very negative at no. <laughs> yes. I mean, you seem awesome, but yes. you know, no, I'm I mean, I'm sure there's some challenges. terribly negative all the time, and then when I get on stage, I just turn it on. Yeah. There you go. Uh, no, it again. It started. It's like you just can't. You can't stay sad all the time. Right. You can't. You can't start your day sad. Yes. So I just wake up every day, put on a smile. We find something to laugh about it, and then if that carries over to the stage, right. Then we. We take it to the stage. And Wes is amazing. He's not only done that, he's fostered and adopted children. His oh, wife's a teacher. Amazing. So he does a, a lot with what he's got. And he's hysterically funny. I mean, even well, if he wasn't in a wheelchair. So you definitely want to come out and yeah. see him. Yeah, and inspiring, too, because I think a lot of people, whenever we have some sort of issue, we can just get lost in that. So it's really nice to know, uh, listen, that you know, if you're doing it, like you said, it's helping other people who may be dealing with a similar situation. So, um, okay, again, Florida Innocence Project, this is what the money's really going to go towards, yeah. right? Tell us how we can get more information get tickets that kind of thing yeah you can go on the Florida Innocence Projects uh, Google it and go on their website okay. Tickets are available uh, directly there if you show up we could sell you some tickets as well but love to have you buy them in advance and yes. uh, it's all going to a good cause not a lot of yes. uh, funding for the Florida Innocence Project and uh, really important non-political project that helps innocently uh, convicted people well thank you both for keeping the comedy alive absolutely love it and it was so nice to meet you Wes thank you. Nice and to meet you too. Uh, yeah have a great have a great show I know it will be again it's called stand up for innocence all right David